What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Coral Reef Talk channel. In today's video, we are going to complete the aquarium stand and get the new 125 gallon SCA aquarium on the stand and get it ready for livestock and everything like that. But first, if you're brand new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and checking the bell icon to be notified every single time I post a new video. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna finish the tank stand here, and I did that using some one by four uh, pieces of lumber here. Now, I'm basically just creating a top border and a bottom border around the tank to give it kind of an edge, uh, something that uh, looks nice and will be able to uh, set things on if I needed to, kind of like a lip around the, the whole um, aquarium stand. So as you can see, I cut the boards down to size. So I had a couple long boards for the front and then I cut some short boards for the side. But you can see that the tank stand is finally uh, completed here. I have that plywood on the bottom. I got my center supports. And so this is what the tank stand looks like completed minus the doors. Those are coming later. So next thing I had to do was sand it all down to prepare it for uh, the paint and the style that I'm doing this stand in is kind of like a rustic theme in our house uh, so it's gonna be like a distressed wood type look so what I'm gonna do is use a wood stain first to give it a, a dark brown color so I'm gonna stain the entire stand here using a brush I just brush it on and I repeat this process to cover the entire outside of the stand that's what you see here and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna paint it white. So here I am painting the tank white. Now, when I was doing this, I had to do it a couple times. You wanna get a good, nice, solid coat. So I think I, I think I did two coats and that gave me a nice, solid white. Now remember, we're going for the distressed look. So the stain underneath the white is gonna give that, uh, that dark, brown color to pop whenever I take sandpaper to it and distress certain points to give it kind of a rustic uh, feel that matches the rest of our house. Now once the painting was complete it was time to move it into place. I did not distress it just yet. I wanted to get the stand into place first and I wanted to get the tank on the stand so I could see how everything looked. I think I'm going to go back in and paint the insides of it white on the side. I got excited. I had to say that uh, things were moving kind of quick and I wanted to get it in place. But you notice this, that's actually the thin piece of foam, the self-leveling foam that comes with an SCA aquarium. Now it took three of us to lift this tank up on the stand. That is a whole lot less than the 210 gallon, which took six people to carry that thing through the door. This is a 125 gallon Euro braced all glass tank from SCA Aquariums. And I can't say it enough, this thing looks beautiful. This thing is well built and well made. So just a reminder, this is 60 inches in length 24 inches in width and it's 20 inches tall. You can see the Euro bracing here. I'm very pleased with this aquarium, SCA Aquariums. Great prices, check them out online. Starfire glass, the black background, everything just looks awesome. So the next thing that I had to do was leak proof the tank. You always wanna check that. Uh, this came from across the country to get to me on a freight truck and it was packaged really well but I had to check it you can see that it's holding water here now I let this sit for 24 hours uh, just to make sure it was all good and then I siphoned the water out and to get that last little bit of water I used sponges you can actually absorb the water with a sponge and then uh, drain it out into a bucket 
and that's a good way to get the rest of the water out of the tank. If you have your own method of getting all the water out of your tank, let me know in the comments below. But as you can see, I wrung out quite a bit of water from this tank. So after the leak test, it was time to get the equipment from the old house to the new house. And the first thing I wanted to bring over was the sump, but I miscalculated and the sump would not fit through the door of the stand. So I had to end up taking the back support beams out, which I don't really think I needed them. It was just an extra bit of support. I did need a center brace either in the front or the back. But you can see I took them out just fine, nothing moved, slid the sump into place. And once I was sure that's where I wanted the sump, I mean, I could move it anywhere I wanted inside the stand once I got it in place underneath. But just for aesthetics, I mean, once the, the, the tank is back against the wall, I'm not going to go back there anyway. So I decided to put the support beams back into place. I actually cut this one a little bit shorter, uh, that angled piece there a little bit shorter, and then fit the outside beam back into place and screwed everything in. So that way, uh, the structure of it was still solid on the back. Like I said, once I slide it against the back wall, I mean, it's not going anywhere anyways, and I'm not going to need to take any of the equipment out. So next video, we're going to take a look at the plumbing. We're going to see how I plumbed the tank and we're going to talk about it. And we're also going to take a look at how I dismantled the old 210 gallon reef tank and how we got all the livestock from that tank into this tank. So stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, check the notification bell so that you're notified when that video drops. And if you're following me over on Instagram, then you get to see sneak peeks of the, the new tank build and the reef tank rebirth. So follow me over there, you get to see some photos and videos there and you'll know before the next video drops as well. Thank you so much for checking out this video. If you're enjoying the tank build series so far, leave me a comment down below. Once again, if you're new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, check the bell to be notified for new videos, and I'll see you next time on the Coral Reef Talk.